period, frequency, and speed of a wave. Learning objectives. Determine the period and frequency of a wave. Understand how period and frequency are reciprocals. And do practice problems using frequency, period, and speed of a wave formulas. Make sure you have watched lesson one, Introduction of Waves, is posted on my YouTube channel and here is the link. Period of a wave. As you have learned from our previous lesson, a wave is a periodic motion that travels with a repetitive pattern. Period is a fundamental concept when studying waves. It's easy to understand. A period of a wave is the time it takes for one complete wavelength passes in one second. So in this picture, we have a series of waves that is traveling in this direction. And on the horizontal line is showing the time, um, a increasing time as the wave is traveling. To determine the period, we have to identify one complete wavelength, which we can do using the first one. That's one complete wavelength. And then we need to look the time it takes for one complete wavelength passes. In this case, is one second. So the period of this wave is equal to one second. Frequency of a wave. Many waves are classified based on its frequency. Just as period, the frequency of a wave is also an important fundamental concept. A frequency of a wave counts the number of complete wavelengths or cycles that pass during one second. As a practice problem, let's determine the frequency of the wave below at point P. Count how many complete wavelengths or cycles are up to P. It should be three cycles. One, two, three. Now verify the time indicated at P, which is three seconds. So by definition, frequency is the number of cycles divided by the total number by the total time. There will be three cycles over three seconds, or one cycle per second. So that's the frequency of this wave. Frequency and period of a wave relationship. Frequency, or lowercase f, determines how many wavelengths pass in one second. Period, or uppercase T, determines how many seconds it takes for one complete wavelength to pass. So by definition, frequency and period are reciprocals. So mathematically, frequency is equal to the inverse of a period, or period is equal to the inverse of a frequency. We call this relationship reciprocal. The SI units for period is seconds, and the SI unit for frequency is 1 over second because they are reciprocal. So 1 over second is also called hertz or HZ. Let's do a practice problem. A young boy is on a swing that completes 20 cycles in 25 seconds. What are its frequency and period? So imagine a swing that is go one, two, three, four, five, so on, up to 20 times and takes 25 seconds to complete 20 cycles. So how we determine the frequency? So that will be the total number of cycles divided by the total time that take for the amount of cycles occur. So you'll be 20 cycles over 25 seconds. 
and this is 0 0.8 cycle per second or hertz, 0 0.8 hertz. So how are we going to use this information to determine the period? So period is the inverse of a frequency. So since the frequency is 0 0.8 hertz, so the period is 1.25 seconds. Speed of a, a wave formula. Waves travel or propagate in one direction and with a speed. Remember that speed from motion is distance over time. To determine the speed of a wave, we need to identify the wavelength that will be our distance and its period, which will be our time. So why we are we using period? Because waves are periodic motion and we can easily determine the time in seconds. So the speed of a wave is equal to the wavelength over period, just like speed in motion is distance over time. So the speed of a wave is, the symbol for wavelength is lambda over uppercase T, that is the symbol for period. So we know that period is the inverse of a frequency. So now that we have a relationship between frequency and wavelength. So the speed of a wave is given by the product between frequency and wavelength. Using the same previous example, if a periodic motion created by the young boy on a swing has a wavelength of four meter, what is the velocity he is moving? So we are using the speed of a wave formula, frequency times wavelength. We have the frequency and the wavelength was given. So the frequency is 0 0.8 times four, which is 3.2 meters per second. When studying waves graphically, the horizontal lines show either distance or time. So these are two examples. So the vertical distance here is going to represent our amplitude on both cases. And the horizontal distance in this case is going to represent, you can actually determine the wavelength because it's going to show distance in meter. And the second one we have here on the horizontal line, we have time. We don't have distance, we have time. So both graphs, they are different because even though the vertical line is represent the amplitude, the horizontal line is going to represent different values. This one um, distance and this one time. Let's do this example. So here we have two problems. Um, one, show a graph with a position over time. This is position over time. And this is displacement versus position. So let's see how we answer a couple of questions related to this. Regardless what the vertical line is showing here, position and displacement, that will be your amplitude. So for the first one, the frequency for this wave will be the number of cycles divided by the total time. So here we need to count how many complete cycles we have. We have one, two, three. We have three cycles. And what is the total time for those three cycles? Is three seconds. So our frequency will be 0.5 hertz. You can determine graphically as well, because here uh, the definition of frequency is how many waves pass in one second. So here we have just half of a wave passing one second. We can also determine the period of this wave by um, using um, the inverse of the frequency. So the period of this wave is two seconds. 
and it makes sense because period the term um, the time that takes for one complete cycle or one complete wavelength pass so here we have one complete one so it will take two seconds to pass and the amplitude of this wave is four centimeters so is determined by the distance between the resting line or equilibrium position to the crest or the rest line to the trough and we are not going to use the negative sign it will be just four centimeters now let's take a look on the second problem so here we cannot determine frequency or period because the horizontal line is not giving this information but we can determine the uh, the wavelength for this series of waves so one wavelength look here is one meter right and the amplitude will be the distance between the resting line or equilibrium line to the crest or to the trough that will be two centimeters so the number of wavelength here is one two three four and the length is one meter so one here we have another one two minus one is one we have another one three minus two is one and here the last one four minus three is also one so that's all for today and uh, for this lesson and please complete your assignment.